Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't have to, and today we are talking about the latest news updates for Palantir Technologies PLTR stock. We're going to talk about their strategic partnership with Jacobs Engineering, then we're going to talk about Palantir's profitability and when they can officially become profitable on a gap basis, and then lastly, we're going to talk about the latest developments for Palantir Technologies over in the UK. So for more Palantir or PLTR stock news updates, remember to go and smash that like button right now, subscribe if you're you, comment your thoughts down below about their strategic partnerships with Jacobs, their forecast when they're supposed to achieve profitability, as well as the latest news developments over in the United Kingdom. And without further ado, let's jump right into today's stories. So Jacobs, ticker symbol J, is a company that employs around 55,000 employees. Their full name is Jacobs Engineering Group Incorporated, and they provide a wide range of engineering, design, and architectural services, construction, and construction management services operations and maintenance services, scientific and systems consulting services, as well as a plethora of other services and technology for various institutions as well as government customers. The ticker symbol for Jacobs is J. The current stock price trades for around $126 as of right now. The low end price target for the next 12 months, according to analysts, is $140. And as always, it's good to see the current stock price trading below the low end price target, according to analysts, because if you do invest in this company, it gives you a small margin and buffer of safety. The average price target, according to analysts, for the next 12 months is $159 per share, and the high-end bullish price prediction is $175 per share. Right now, around 16 analysts cover this stock. 15 of these analysts say that this company is a fantastic buying opportunity, while one analyst says to hold this company while none of them say to sell. On the other hand, we have Palantir Technologies, ticker symbol PLTR, and this is a big data and analytics company that serves both commercial and government agencies. The current PLTR stock price trades for around $11.73. The low end price target, according to analysts, for the next 12 months is $9. The average price consensus for the stock is $16. And the high end bullish price prediction is $25 per share for the PLTR stock. Right now, 10 analysts cover the stock. One of these analysts says to buy the stock. Five of these analysts say to hold the stock for future stock price appreciation. And four of them actually say to sell the stock. And recently, Palantir Technologies has announced a strategic collaboration and agreement and even a partnership with Jacobs Engineering Group, which is really good news. And this partnership and relationship is mainly going to focus on their water sector. It's going to focus on increasing their infrastructure using data analytics and solving their most complex problems in terms of water to make their overall plant operations more effective and efficient. It's also going to optimize their overall water and wastewater treatments, as well as any potential maintenance that the company needs to perform. On top of this, Palantir also aims to reduce the overall costs for Jacobs while simultaneously improving their overall plant performance. The CEO of Jacobs says that Jacobs' leadership in the water sector and proven industrial AI, which is artificial intelligence, and software solutions combined with Palantir's best-in-class platform will deliver innovative solutions to our global network of water infrastructure clients. He goes on to say, and in the process, unlock new opportunities to create a more connected and sustainable world. So in essence, this is going to increase the overall plant's performance, reduce overall life cycle costs, and secure these various water plants from cybersecurity threats, which is fantastic news. I also recently made a video on the best cybersecurity stocks to buy right now, mainly because Russia is known for their cyber attacks. So if you want, remember to go to videos and check that video out. The CEO of Palantir Technologies, who is Alex Karp, responded to this collaboration by saying that that Palantir is proud to partner with Jacobs to revolutionize water treatment and looks forward to working together across sectors tackling the world's most pressing problems. Jacobs' vision, technical expertise, and speed of execution make Jacobs an ideal partner for Palantir Technologies. Now, what I find most interesting about this collaboration is that Palantir is not only being used to help optimize and make these water plants more effective and efficient, but also help defend against cyber terrorism and other cyber threats. 
And this just goes to show how secure Palantir Technologies actually is for both the overall company as well as their platforms to help other companies. It also goes to show how Palantir Technologies can use their various technology platforms to help companies in almost any industry across a multitude of markets, and that is fantastic news. Basically, if your company generates data, Palantir Technologies can make your company more effective and efficient, which is fantastic news. So overall, this is a fantastic collaboration. Jacobs, in my opinion, is a phenomenal company that I also personally own, and overall, this is good news for Palantir. However, despite this, Palantir Technologies has dropped by almost 5% already today, while Jacobs is up almost 3%. But now I want to talk about when Palantir will achieve profitability. And I have brought up this chart multiple times, which goes over their revenues, their earnings, their free cash flows, and their cash from operations. And according to the current projections, their revenues are increasing at a phenomenal compounding annual growth rate of well over 30%, which is phenomenal news. On top of this, they are also scaling their free cash flows extremely effectively, and this will eventually lead to profitability. But when will they become profitable on a gap basis? Well, right now, Palantir Technologies is supposed to achieve gap profitability between 2024 and 2025, or in the year of 2025, and that's actually not too far away. And I personally think when Palantir Technologies becomes profitable, it's going to be fantastic news for the overall stock price. However, ideally you would want to get into Palantir Technologies below $9 per share right now because we want to get in below the low end analyst price target which currently sits at around $9. However, in the future, this still looks like a solid long-term company to own. More good news is that Palantir Technologies is diversifying themselves globally. So they are not only doing extremely phenomenal things in the United States market, they are also helping out other institutions across the world, which is why I want to highlight their work with NHS, specifically in the United Kingdom. Because right now, the NHS has a backlog of around 6 million patients that are waiting for elective care. And basically, what elective care means is that these 6 million people are waiting for non-urgent medical services, which range anywhere from various types of diagnostic tests, scans, some minor surgeries, as well as cancer treatments. And the reason this backlog is very pressing is because originally there was only around 4.4 million people in the backlog, and that has grown to over 6 million patients, which is why the NHS is going to use Palantir's technologies. This means that Palantir Technologies is going to rely very heavily on their foundry system, which has already been used in a recent pilot test run at the Chelsea and Westminster Hospital Trust, which helped reduce their inpatient waiting list and backlog by around 28%. And this would be the equivalent of helping 10 of thousands of patients. So although 28% might not sound like a lot, literally that is tens and thousands of people that can be treated and operated on much earlier, which is extremely convenient for patients as well as the overall hospital. Otherwise, this backlog is just going to continue to grow and it's not going to be good for patients or the hospital. And while this backlog project, according to the article, is still a proof of concept, I do want to add that the NHS is paying around 26 million US dollars or 23.5 million euros for a two-year license for Palantir's technology, which is going to expire at the end of 2022. Palantir right now employs around 600 people in the United Kingdom, and they also plan to hire on and take on an additional 250 employees this year. This is going to help these health institutions process sensitive health and national security data from UK public authorities, including NHS England, the Cabinet Office, and the Ministry of Defense, all of which Palantir has fantastic relationships with. So I love seeing how Palantir is having various contracts and relationships with not only engineering firms and health firms and financial institutions, but they also have relationships with government entities as well. And this not only should tell investors that Palantir is reaching more of a global market and they're not so centralized in the United States, it also should show investors that Palantir Technologies has a market in basically every sector and industry across the overall market. And by Palantir landing fantastic contracts, strategic agreements, partnerships, and an overall increase in their networking, this is just going to bolster Palantir's overall market reach, as well as tell other institutions that, hey, why can't we also use Palantir's technology? So right now, this is all very positive news. However, despite this, the PLTR stock price continues to fall. Bears and naysayers are also very negative about the overall market environment because the Federal Reserve is going to increase interest rates, which is going to heavily affect various growth stocks. A consultant gynecologist at Chelsea and Westminster
Worcester Hospital said that the solution has been a game changer for me. It's helping me do my job faster and more efficiently and has reduced my administrative burden. And clearly this consultant is referring to Palantir's foundry technology, which is clearly helping out their overall institution. The article also says that they are using Palantir's technology to tackle the outpatient waiting list problem to achieve the same benefits we have got for our elective patients. So I really don't understand the logic of various institutions and investors saying that Palantir is just the meme stock, that they don't have good technology, because clearly they do. Otherwise, institutions such as the US Army, the CIA, the FBI, NHS, Jacobs Engineering, Scuderia Ferrari, IBM, Amazon, and a plethora of other government agencies as well as commercial enterprises and institutions. So I honestly just don't understand that logic of people calling Palantir a meme stock or how the stock price is going to go to zero. Now don't get me wrong, the PLTR stock price can continue to fall, however this is a long-term aggressive growth investment, which is why you probably shouldn't allocate more than 5% of your portfolio for this particular company, because that would be bad risk management. But with that being said, everyone has different goals, so you should always do what's best for your personal portfolio and always make sure to do your own research, because that's going to do nothing but help you. I also want to say that the head of Palantir, specifically for their UK division, said that the results of the pilot program at Chelsea and Westminster Hospital have been incredibly promising, and we will work to continue to develop technology that can help NHS trusts to reduce the backlog and ensure patients get the care they need, end quote. So overall, it's a fantastic news day for Palantir Technologies. They have the collaboration with Jacobs, we have an update regarding how Palantir is integrating themselves globally, and we also have a very reliable forecast about when Palantir will reach profitability on a gap basis. So this is all very exciting news. But I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Remember to go and smash that like button for more videos like this one. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next YT video.